Yo, so I just finished recording the video, but I feel like there's more I could say. So if I feel like there's more I could say, I'll just record a separate video about it. Because if I was to just, like, say everything in one video, I feel like... For it to help younger Alfie, because this is, like, one of the things that he needed to hear the most, right? I think if I was genuinely, like, sat down in a chair with younger Alfie and he was in a different chair... And I was just telling him, like, why he needs to stand up for himself. I feel like it'd be a one to two hour long... It would be a very long conversation. And I just didn't really want that to be all in one video. Plus, my camera was going to die as well. So, like I say, if I feel like I need to speak more on it, I'll make a separate whole video on it again. But, yeah. It... I feel like this type of topic needs to be more of an unfiltered video rather than some sort of scripted one. But, yeah. Like I say, if I need to speak more about it, I'll just make a whole unfiltered video about it. That's probably a better idea. But you, let me know how you thought the video was anyway. All right, see ya. Oh, come on. I hit. I, I missed. I missed the flipping stop thing. This is... This is pointless, bro. It's June 13th, 2023. And I'm being picked on by one of my friends. And I've got a Spanish exam in the afternoon. So this guy is picking on me. He's insulting me. And he's pretty much singling me out. But I don't do anything about it. The reason I don't do anything about it is because... Really, I've been conditioned by the school system to be passive. To always tell the teacher if something goes wrong, to never fight back and to never do any do anything back. So, the worst thing I do is insult them back. And I just throw insults when they throw insults. But it's not really doing anything. So... This goes on throughout the entire day, it's just insulting me, and every now and then I say something back, but it doesn't really do much. And then after the exam, we go out, so I start talking to my friends about the exam, and then this guy comes along and he starts insulting me again. So I say something back, as I did before, and I walk away. I'm just going to go home, I can't be bothered. But then he shouts to me, why are you running? I, I, by the way, I wasn't, I wasn't even running. I was gracefully trudging to the bus stop. I was not running whatsoever. But you know what? I thought this guy's getting it. So I walk back. I grip him up and I say, who's running? And then... At this point, I'm like, you know what? Nah, I've had enough of this guy. So I s try slap him, and I miss. So I try slap him again, and I, and I, and I miss again. And then the third time, I hit him, but it, but it wasn't that good, to be honest. But at this point, he's seen me attempt to slap him three times. So he tries slapping me back, but he misses. And then we're still gripping each other up, trying to slap each other. And at one point, he has ended up in some like weird rugby tackle position and instinctively I've just got him in a chokehold and I hold it for two seconds and I let go because I don't want to hurt him but I just wanted to warn him that I'm not taking this anymore so as soon as I let go he looks back at me and his eyes are bloodshot but it says it all because the look he gives me is one where he's pretty much just saying thank you. Because he knew that in that chokehold, if I really hated him, I could have held it for longer. But it's at this moment, as I'm walking away to go to my bus stop, that I realise that I need to stand up for myself because I can't let people just walk over me all the time. And that's what you need to do as well. You need to understand that you can't just let people walk over you. Specifically toxic 
just like toxic friends you just can't let them walk all over you because you just can't bro honestly like sometimes it's like it's not even like being the bigger man like being the bigger man has nothing to do with this if you're letting some like you're just t posing and you're letting this guy insult you even though you know you could probably have him in a fight do you know what i mean sorry if my throat sound like my throat is dry so sorry if i'm just speaking in a bad way or something because i don't have water right now let's peak so just to get this off the bat this video is pretty much about toxic friends not necessarily bullies because it fits in with the same thing but bullying is like you can go into a lot more like strategies and whatnot this is specifically for if you have toxic friends that carry on insulting you and are pretty much bullying you like you'll see why it's specifically more geared towards toxic friends as we go on in the video and that's what the story was about as well but like if i want to make a video on bullying in the future i will or if you want it rather but for now this is about toxic friends so we'll start off with defining what bullying actually is or like the some characteristics to do with bullying bullying is always repetitive with the intention to harm and there's a power imbalance in favor of the bully aka the bully has more power than you in the scenario which is, which is kind of obvious so in basic english if you didn't understand what i said they hurt you they do it all the time and they're more powerful than you are pretty much right so that is what bullying is and usually toxic friends do this a lot is they like harm you like usually it's just verbal stuff sometimes it might be like a slap on the back of the head and stuff and it's they do it often and they they're more powerful than you in the scenarios right because if they weren't more powerful than you you would have they would have done it do you know what i mean so they need to feel some sort of negative reinforcement some sort of pain for picking on you they need to feel some sort of discomfort with picking on you they need you need to make it that in their brains it'll be like if i pick on if i pick on alfie then i will feel some sort of pain and discomfort afterwards therefore i won't pick on alfie but right now what the scenario is like for the bully if if we're talking like if this then that scenario is if i pick on alfie i will get a good laugh out of it it, it will feel good for me to pick on alfie i'm not sure if you've read the book atomic habits by james clear it's a good book and it talks about habits and if a habit feels good to do or there is no consequences to doing a certain thing we will do it more often but if there is pain and discomfort with doing the thing or there are consequences for doing the thing we probably won't do the thing so right now you can start to picture what we need to do we need to make it painful for him to insult you pick on you or target you in any way shape or form you need to do something a hundred percent of the time and when i say they need to feel some sort of discomfort and pain it doesn't have to be physical pain like they don't if they call you poopy head you don't have to like start like flipping mike tyson like peekaboo or anything you don't have to do that you can verbally fight them but you see with toxic friends the thing is at least in my experience verbal fighting did not work like in the story i was telling you about when I was like just throwing insults back at him, it didn't it didn't work that well, bro. The thing that worked was the fact that like I hit him, basically. The fact the fact that like we got into a cheeky bit of a scuffle was the reason that he stopped insulting me because he knew I wasn't gonna take it anymore. When you're just verbal back and forth, a lot of the time as well, it's subtle enough that 
you don't it would seem a bit unreasonable for you to argue back if that made sense so like they might say something and some people are oh it's just a joke bro and like you know what i mean there's like you'll know there's certain scenarios where it feels like you can't actually do anything back what i'd say in, in those scenarios is you just do something back honestly if they slap you slap them back if they make a joke about you like a lot of like a lot of the times they they make like racist jokes bro they're being outright racist to you if that happens and they're like like you gotta obviously gauge this like if they're like close like this you'll understand in it but a lot of the time these guys they actually just they're just outright racist to you but they hide behind it by saying oh it's a joke bro and it isn't a joke if they make some sort of joke slap him if you obviously i'm not encouraging violence and the self disclaimer self defense only but if some guy is bullying you let him have it bro because they've been hurting you for ages man it does bullying does not build character bullying does not build character at all like there's some people are oh, sigma grind so oh yeah i get bullied and the trauma makes me stronger no it doesn't because you go home every single day thinking about all the things you could have said and done how does that build character you go home and imagine yourself as a superhero who did the like the best thing you could have done in the scenario whereas in real life you're there t posing whilst he just like slaps you or whilst he insults you and is outright racist to you bullying does not build character it destroys it because you go home realizing that like you've done nothing bro you you go home thinking i'm a b word i'm an i can't swear at home where it's like i'm a b word like you know what i mean we can't let that happen anymore like a lot of guys who say that bullying builds character honestly i as either you've never actually been bullied or like you're trying to be like some sigma sigma male grind set when in reality you're probably just scared to fight you're probably you're probably scared if anything because a lot of guys oh bullying builds character no it doesn't bro no it just doesn't like get get we need to get this out of our heads bullying does not build character it destroys character and we can't let your character be destroyed anymore so they need to feel some sort of pain discomfort or anything a hundred percent of the time they pick on you every single time they do something that you don't like that you got to do something say something maybe even physically do something obviously don't take this too far if they're like oh poopy head you don't have to like flip again you don't have to like start like bobbing or weaving your head like what bro what like you don't have to do that but like by all means if like you have permission i, I, I don't know how much my permission is worth to you <clears throat> my throat is getting so dry you have permission that if they do something bro you can shout at them maybe even get in their fight face be aggressive like yeah be aggressive bro you need to like scare them you can shock them and, and make them realize that you're not just letting this slide anymore bro you don't let anything slide with these people these toxic friends you don't let anything slide with them because you can put them into two categories one where it's like this guy genuinely doesn't like you or this guy is actually a close friend and he's just messing around a lot of the time they're not a lot of the time they're not this person and th this type of person usually doesn't even do that stuff anyway <sighs> and even if they do like you know it's light-hearted because you're both having a good time doing it but it's like usually it's not bro usually they're this person who actually hates you and he just gets like a little a little kick and a little hit out of you by bullying you by insulting you so we're not gonna do that anymore how long have i been recording because last time i was just like going on and on and on a lot of toxic friends they're actually that you're gonna learn a term they're actually verbalists verbalists are basically all bark no bite they're the irl keyboard warrior 
a lot of a lot of verbalists they they they're terrified by fighting honestly if 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 the idea of a physical fight came into their head they'd be, they'd be terrified they'd be they wouldn't be able to do anything because a lot of these guys they're amazing when it comes to verbal combat but when it comes to physical combat they're scared because a lot of the time they can't fight that's it that's the truth a lot of them they can't fight and they don't know if they would be able to defend themselves if it came to like a like a jab cross hook like you know what i mean so I, i'm gonna i'm just looking at the notes here because my mind went blank i used to be a verbalist as well like all bark no bite i, w I would i wouldn't say like oh yeah i, I can fight anyone because I, I, I truthfully i can't but I I was like I had a uh, I, my mind was going blank, bro. I had a bad mouth. I would I would run my mouth all the time, but like there's a certain strategy that like all bark no no biters, I guess verbalists, the IRL keyboard warriors, they they use this tactic where they'll make you angry enough that like it hurts but not angry enough that it'd seem reasonable to fight so it's almost like if you fight them it seems like it's a bit too far do you know what i mean and if you start saying oh let's fight let's just like let's just sort this out like by fighting they'll usually be like no 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 that's just unnecessary bro that's really, there's no need to do that bro i was just joking do you know what i mean so you'll know if that's this type of person the what how i would navigate it is either like paint the picture in their head that you will physically do something to them if they start picking on you i wouldn't obviously like you go this is weird this is where it gets weird because it's like you're gonna have to use your own intuition with this to navigate it because to be honest it's like for me to make this video really quick, because it's already 16 minutes in, to, for me to like make this a quick type of video, it's going to be kind of hard. So you're going to have to use your own intuition. But basically paint the picture in their head. Like the, if you want like the single thing to take away from this video, paint the picture in their head that you will not take their disrespect anymore. If you do that, fantastic, you, amazing. But sometimes, bro, like, verbal arguments, they don't work. Honestly, verbal back and forth, it don't work. The, like, the most of the time, the thing that works is genuinely just, like, even a little slap. A little slap could do you wonders with this, because cause you don't even have to put power behind it. You just have to make it, like, slightly sting, and they'll realise, like, oh, this guy's not going to take any more disrespect. I'll move on to someone else. It sounds so cliche, and I know you've heard it before, but it's the honest truth, man. There's also another truth, because to be honest, if you haven't really fought them already, you might be a bit afraid to fight. You don't know how to fight. Or maybe you, like, you did like practice some sort of martial art before, but you haven't been consistent with it now. So... You need to learn to defend yourself. The uh, key word, self-defense. This is not to start fights with random people, right? You don't go around starting, like, this video is for self-defense only. You don't, like, I do not, I don't know. Get your body back, bro. Like, honestly, I, like, I would say, like, oh, like, oh, don't start fights, guys. But if this guy's been bullying you for ages, bro, let's have it, man. Obviously, like, Pick your battles wisely. If the guy's like six foot and you're four foot, obviously it might not be a good idea to fight them. But that's a whole separate video in itself, to be honest, because my camera's low as well. So, if you feel like you don't know how to fight, I'll link a full boxing guide by a guy who was an Olympic boxer in the description. Um, so if you if you like can't afford to go to some sort of like self-defense classes or you like for whatever reason you can't go to one i'll link that in the description that'll sort you out for now it's a boxing guide
and boxing will get you it'll be it'd be better for you to learn boxing than to not learn anything at all do you know what i mean so but if you can like go to some sort of self-defense class i would highly advise you do i would my advice would be go to some sort of functional thing so like what i mean is like go to some sort of martial arts self-defense class where it's realistic that you'll actually use it so like for example you don't want to learn some next backflip somersault spin five thousand times and then kick him in the neck because realistically if some guy calls you poopy head you're not gonna start like boom like you're not gonna do that bro you're like you know what i mean so a lot of people have like different martial arts which they recommend doesn't really matter which one just make it somewhat realistic do you know what i mean because some guy might be like oh learn boxing and then some guys like no you might you need to learn muay thai and then some guys like oh you need to learn kickboxing and then a joe rogan fan in the corner is like bjj bro like you don't like do you know what i mean it gets confusing and overwhelming so what i would recommend is something functional functional kickboxing boxing mma you know what i mean what Whatever you see yourself realistically doing in, like, a school scenario or, like, a real-life scenario, like a street fight or something, they're, like, fantastic, right? But it doesn't really matter. It, honestly, it'd be better for you to learn any martial art than for you not to be able to fight whatsoever. Oh, my gosh, my camera's low. Like, you know what scares me? I don't know what, when my camera is gonna die and i don't want it to die because i don't know what happens with the recording <sighs> I, I feel like i haven't said enough in this video to be honest i don't know i feel like i need to make more videos on this type of topic because it doesn't really help but what i'd say is with a toxic friend if you get into a fight with them honestly you can be you can be proud of yourself Honestly, if you get into a fight with a guy who's been bullying you, like, like show them that you won't take disrespect anymore. Like, fight and win. Don't use excessive force. Like, if they're or if they're on the ground or something, you don't have to like, like you don't have to like start pounding them till they're unconscious, mate. Like, what? Like, you can hit them once and then that's it. Full stop. They're done, and they'll literally just look at you like, okay, oh, he won't, he won't do anything. But. If it means you need to fight them because they've genuinely annoyed you so much because you go home every single day and you think about all the things you could have done, you, uh, you're you literally in the shower like wishing that you did something differently. If you're like experiencing these type of things, bro, I think they've been bullying you for too long and you need to do something about it. And I know it, it can... I don't want to be like saying like you're the bad person here because I know that's how it can feel. But you're not really in the wrong here. Like, we got to understand, like, you're, like, I know this sounds sad, innit? But, like, you're basically a victim here. And you know what, bro? Don't even be ashamed of that because you know, this guy, it's not your fault, bro. You, you're, you're probably just living life. Now, obviously, if you've genuinely done something bad, fair enough. But sometimes you might have literally just be chilling. And they're literally just making, like, racist jokes to you. They're slapping the back of your head and stuff. Like, you can't. And I know, like, a, a lot of the time, like, the school system conditioned us to be, like, people who don't fight back, who don't tell the teacher. But you know what, bro? Stop listening to that advice. you got to fight back. Like, I promise you, most parents don't actually. Like, if you told your parents you got in a fight, most of them would actually be on your side. Like, and, like that's one thing I actually had struggled to comprehend when I was younger. But, like... Getting in trouble with the teachers isn't a problem. Any guy who's had a fight in school, maybe you know a friend who has. Honestly, they'll also tell you that, like, it's, it's not that deep. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'd rather you fight them and then never pick on you again and you just like, oh, you got a detention an hour after school. Rather than being bullied for the next months because you are you don't do anything about it. You can't let them carry on doing this, man. You you genuinely can't let them carry on doing this. 
and I know it seems like scary. Tell your parents that you're going through this. Maybe even tell teachers. If you're going to tell the teacher as well, quick tip of advice, constantly tell them so it actually seems like they're a threat. Because if you just tell them once and then you don't ever come back to them, in their heads, you can't blame them for this, but in their heads, they'll be like, okay, so the problem must have been solved. He's not coming back to us. Anytime something happens, do something back. That is an actionable step. And the second actionable step is to go into the description right now and watch that full boxing guide if you don't know how to fight. I'll see you later because I don't want this to die. Um, my camera to die. See you later. Safe.